teachers, staff, family, and friends graduating class of 2021, Raptor Nation that are here in person, that are joining along with us virtually, welcome. Bienvenidos, profesores, padres, hermanos, sobrinos, tíos, abuelos y primos y amigos. Bienvenidos a la graduación de la clase de DST GBR 2021. As we sit here today, we get to reflect on the hard work that has shaped who we are now. Remembering that morning meetings were focuses at Saturday schools. Knowing Mr. Gantin was always happy to see our beautiful faces. We get to look back over the years in high school and know we've accomplished something worth celebrating, like making the LARPs in world history or all the many unforgettable battles in Kahoot or playing cool math games and turning the brightness down so our teachers wouldn't see. We've come so far. The SST has raised us into young adults who can stand here and say we've survived. Cherish this moment, the hugs, the laughs, the tears, and all the moments we've all shared. We will never again be in these seats. We will never again be high school students. Mientras nos sentamos aquí, podemos reflexionar en el trabajo duro que pusimos para llegar a este momento. Recordando todas las niñas de la mañana, todas las escuelas de sábado, los refocuses. Ya sabíamos que Bianzin siempre quería pasar tiempo con nosotros. Podemos mirar hacia atrás a todos los años de high school y saber que hemos cumplido algo importante en nuestra vida hoy. Hemos llegado muy lejos. GST nos ha ayudado a formarnos en los adultos que podemos decir hemos sobrevivido. Quiero que paren y aprecien este momento. Nunca vamos a estar en estos asientos otra vez. Nunca vamos a ser estudiantes de high school otra vez. We all will go down different paths and may never see each other again. But that's a part of life, supporting one another, turning your dreams into reality, and sharing those stories when we get older. Take the time to reflect on your past and what is in your story today, because tomorrow isn't promised. I hope you can all remember the people, the atmosphere, your purpose, your determination, and hard work that's gotten you to this point. At this moment, it is my pleasure to commence DSST Green Valley Ranch, class of 2021, Senior Celebration Night. Cuando hayamos terminado aquí hoy, espero que puedan recordar a la gente, a todos los que nos rodea y cómo se siente en este instante. Tu determinación y tu trabajo duro te han llevado a este punto y el asiento en el que estás sentado hoy. En este momento, es mi placer comenzar a la graduación de la clase de DSC GVR 2021. Muchas gracias. Today we are honored to have the CEO and founder of DSST, the one and only Bill Kurt speak for us. Bill Kurt has built one of the best leading school networks in Colorado that has supported and nurtured the growth of its students and led them to a path of success and opportunity. Now it's my honor to welcome CEO Bill Kurtz. Hoy tenemos el honor de tener al CEO y fundador Bill Kurtz brindarnos unas palabras. Bill Kurtz ha construido uno de los mejores sistemas escolares de Colorado que ha apoyado el crecimiento académico de sus estudiantes. Ahora es mi placer introducir al CEO Bill Kurtz. DSST Class of 2021, I am so proud of you today as we celebrate all of you as seniors and for getting to this place of graduating from DSST after the last 13 months uh, of a 100-year pandemic. You have done it with style, with class, with incredible hard work and courage. And uh, there's so much to be proud of with the class of 2021. But let me point out two things. Number one, in the middle of a pandemic where most high schools across the country have struggled to get all of their students to apply to college or even half of their students to apply to college and enroll in college, you, the class of 2021, have had the best single year of college acceptances in the history of DSST, 15 years. In the middle of the pandemic, each one of you averaged six college acceptances, six per senior, remarkable. In the list of schools, we've gotten students into literally all the best schools in the country in your class. So congratulations. It is such a sign of your perseverance, of your hard work, uh, of your commitment to to having aspirations for yourself in the middle of really dark times. 
Uh, and I'm so proud of each one of you for persevering to get to this place, to have such a plethora of options for your future. So congratulations, class of 2021, uh, for your incredible college acceptance record. Secondly, you have used your voice as a class to help Denver, to help ESST, to help our communities tackle some really tough issues in the last couple of years. Your leadership in our civic arena, organizing marches and protests and speaking out with your voice and your actions have helped tackle some really important societal issues. I am so proud of your leadership and your voice. You have had courage to use it every step of the way, both in our city and at DSST. And you've given us great feedback at DSST that's going to help us get better for future generations of students. So thank you for using your voice and for, for bettering our city and our country because of it. And as I close, I want to remind all of you that you have an incredibly bright future. If you have done what you've accomplished in the last 13 months, you know what it takes to work hard, to persevere, and to accomplish big goals. And I hope you'll never forget that. And I hope you'll use that confidently as you go forward to change our world. Our world needs change. Our world needs young leaders like you to go out and make change. Our world needs young leaders like you who get educated, who can lead our country forward on different paths. And I'm so excited about you, the class of 2021. I know you're gonna do amazing things in the future and that we are gonna look back on your four years here and say, wow, what an incredible group of students that have accomplished big things with us, but now we're doing big things in the world. So congratulations, class of 2021. I'm so proud of you. Uh, go out and do big things. Next, we'd like to welcome a member of our community who has always made this school environment a safer and comfortable space for us all. He attempts to lift the mood in times of sadness. He looks to motivate his peers and all classes and morning meetings. This individual has always been perceived as intelligent, very friendly, and kind-hearted. With that, we'd like to welcome Eduardo Garcia. Nos gustaría bienvenir a un miembro de nuestra comunidad, al cual siempre intenta de poner una sonrisa de todas nuestras caras. Él intenta de levantar el ánimo en tiempos de tristeza y busca motivar a sus compañeros. Este individuo siempre se ha visto como chistoso, divertido y se reconoce al tener un buen corazón. Con esto, nos gustaría bienvenir a Eduardo García. Hey everyone, so in True Spirit of Online School, I did not start this until three weeks after the due date. It really happened because when I was told I was supposed to speak about the class of 2021, I had no idea what I was gonna say. Not because there's not anything to say, but because there's just too much to say. And I say that with the best feeling and intent possible. So in this time that I was given, we're gonna take a quick trip down memory lane so you guys are all reminded about how incredible we are as a class. I really don't think I could start this off without actually speaking about how adaptable we are. We were forced to go online in the middle of junior year, which is our hardest year, when we were all taking at least one AP class. Not only that, but we managed to finish the year off with some of the highest grades we've ever had and killed the AP tests that we took, which I think is just incredible. It just goes to show how adaptable we are. And if anyone else can remember back to middle school when we were forced to clean up the cafeteria, yeah, apparently it was just our class that had to do that, and I could not be more mad. But at the same time, it does show how adaptable we are because we still managed to do it and we left that cafeteria spotless every single day. And I think that goes hand in hand with just how resilient we are. Like I said, we were forced to go online in the middle of junior year. And then we had to spend a majority of our senior year online. And some of us the entire year. We were swamped with classwork, tests, and even virtual projects. But we still managed to do it. And we got good grades on them too. It just goes to show how resilient we are. Not only that, but we managed to push ourselves both in the classroom or online and outside of the classroom, whether that be at work, on the field, or even politically. So many of us joined or created Black Lives Matter protests, and so many of us actually ended up joining political campaigns in the surrounding area. And we did it in such a creative way, which is just another thing that's incredible about us. We are a super creative class. We have spent the last seven years joining and creating clubs, performing in theater or performing in Poetry Cafe. Shout out to Christian because he honestly represented us every single Poetry Cafe. We managed to express ourselves in any single way possible and we did it in the most joyful ways, which I think is another incredible thing about us. We were a super, super, super joyful class. I remember pre-COVID when it was morning check, I would walk around and just roam around into the different advisories just to hear about the different shenanigans and things that happen 
and there was always a smile on everyone's face. It was never a dull moment with us. Not only that, but when we came back post-COVID into this semi-hybrid state, the class of 2021 was the only class that brought real energy back into the buildings. The freshmen, sophomore, and juniors were all low energy. It was kind of disheartening. But us, the seniors, after we had gotten hit with senioritis, we were the ones bringing the most energy. It was incredible. And lastly, but most certainly not least, I think I have to talk about how we are super understanding as a class. If most of you, I believe all of you should be able to remember, at the end of first trimester in sophomore year, my brother got arrested right outside of the school. It was a very difficult time. I had never cried at school before, and it was one of the first time I'd actually cried at school. I feel like so many of you guys can remember me crying in front of Miss Perry's or Miss Ramos's room, just bawling my eyes out on the floor, broken. But it's thanks to this class that I managed to pick myself back up. So many of you guys skipped class, sat with me, or even brought me my work, or just in the passing periods, you guys asked me if I was how I was doing, or to get back up. I remember that the vibe and the energy that you guys gave me was to not give up, was that it wasn't okay to give up, that the day was gonna come to an end and tomorrow was gonna start again, and it was gonna make everything a little bit better. The class of 2021 was the reason why I managed to finish that day, that week, that trimester, that month, that year, whatever. It's thanks to this class that I managed to do that. And it's because we are super understanding. So unfortunately, my time is coming to an end and I have not been able to talk about all the other memories I wish I could get to talk about. But with that being said, I feel like I couldn't do it because we are so much as a class, too much sometimes. We are the heart and soul of the buildings and I feel like DSSC GBR will not be the same when we leave. We live in this desire to live and keep on living, and we bring this special, lively, and bustling energy that just feeds off of each other, and we create this incredible vibe within the buildings, within just our own class. So I want you guys to get ready to feel the anxi anxiety and excitement of a new trip, and the fear of a new chapter, because high school is ending, but college is just beginning. We are about to start an incredible, brand new journey for the next four years in college. So let us live as people who enjoy life to the fullest, because it's been an incredible four years with you guys. Here's to so many more memories. Dear class of 2021, this is a well-deserved victory and congratulations. Nathan, it's been a great two years with you in cross country and freak out. I think the coolest thing was seeing your fighting attitude in cross country, never giving up, no matter how much it hurt, you'd always keep pushing. Same thing in pre-calc. I saw the same thing on that Desmos project. Every little line, you wouldn't let any of those lines pass. You had to get every single one. It's that fighting attitude that's brought you so far, and I hope to continue to see that fighting attitude bring you places and look forward to hearing about all the great things you accomplish in the future. Best of luck out there. That said, I just want to thank you for your kindness over the years. It's 100% contagious. You might not realize it, but you have a quality to make people feel so seen. You really show up and greet people with an excitement and a joy that makes them feel special. And I'm so appreciative of that. Please keep that with you. I'm so proud of the young woman that you have become. Annika, you did it. You have made it to your senior year. I am so, so proud of you. I just want you to know that I have watched and enjoy you in these last four years. In the beginning, you were kind of like a little bit, a bit, a bit of a quiet person, but you have come out of your shell. I know you'll be excited for your next journey. I'm sorry we didn't get to go to prom, but hey, we did get to go shopping, got to get us some Starbucks. So I want you to know I will be with you and checking on you. And again, watching those great dreams come true. Congratulations, Annika. Brian Vargas, um, I'm just so glad I got to know you over the last couple of years. I've always been so impressed just by how calm, cool, and collected you are in all moments. You're incredibly laid back, but take care of everything that needs to happen. And you're able to do that because you're confident in yourself and you know who you are. So I really hope you never lose sight of that in whatever step you take next. So best of luck. Brian, it's really exciting to see you graduate. I can think back to when you were a sophomore and you would get so dedicated in the math of chemistry and it was super exciting to watch you get so excited. So I'm excited to see you graduate now and move on to your next step. So congratulations. Debbie, you did it. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. I can't wait to see how you change the world. You are 
absolutely incredible. I adore everything about you. And I'm just so proud of who you are. Congratulations. Jalen, since the moment I met you as a freshman, something I have always loved about you is the way that you embrace a challenge. In the past three years, I've seen you overcome a plethora of different obstacles. And what I'm most proud of you for is your resilience and never giving up. I feel so lucky to know you and your sweet, sweet family. And I can't wait to hear about whatever it is that you tackle next. Congratulations. Jocelyn, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy and excited to see what you do with your life. You're kind, you're thoughtful, you work hard, and you're gonna do incredible things. Congratulations, little one. Leo, congratulations, you did it. I can tell the way you conducted yourself this year, the way you were super responsible about filling out college applications, doing finance things for college, doing scholarships. Uh, you are going to be such a good businessman after you graduate college. I'm really, really excited for you. Congrats once again. Mersal, I have been so honored to get to know you this year. Um, as an artist, as a student, there is nothing you cannot do. I am so excited to see what you do in the future. Never give up on your dreams. Know the power that you have. You are smart, intelligent, you are driven, and you are going to be successful. Congratulations, and please keep in touch. Moses, I have so missed having you in class this year. I will never forget how last year I had asked you to leave class because you got in a fight about math. Legit math, nothing else, just math. I think this just exemplifies the passion and confidence that you bring to the world that will take you so far in your life. I wish you all the best next year. All right, Anzi, we're gonna put all those conversations from lunch to the test here. Gracias por todas las excelentes conversaciones. Eres muy buena, profesora. También se que me divertiré hablando español gracias a tu ayuda. Thanks for everything, Otsiri. It's been a great year having you as an advisee and teaching you. I wish you the best of luck in the future with whatever you decide to do. Hi, Nikayla. Congratulations on your graduation. Oh, so happy to share this excitement of your graduation day and your next big adventure. I'm hoping that you're having a big plate of chicken alfredo tonight. Wishing you lots of luck and always here if you need anything. You go, girl. Luis Deluna, um, I know this has not been the easiest senior year, but you have persisted and overcome so much. I have loved watching you work so hard. Congratulations. I'm just incredibly proud of you. Woo! Congrats! Hi, Gabby. I just want to thank you for everything that you do in class. You go above and beyond on everything, and you are always willing to participate, always willing to share your passion, your thoughtfulness. So. Thank you so much for being a joy to have in class, and I wish you the best of luck next year. I'm sure you will be amazing. Christine is the absolute funniest and kindest person. When I think about who has brought me the most joy over the last two years, it is Christine. Whether it's the respect she shows in the classroom, the joy she has brought to eSchool with memes and supportive class participation, or even just the way she shows gratitude and appreciation for all humans. Christine, you are a constant light who makes everyone feel like someone, and I will miss you so deeply next year. Hi, Jeremiah. First, I want to commend you for the great job that you've done in senior English this year. I so appreciate your willingness to participate, and not only that, but the thoughtfulness you bring to every time you share. Thank you so much for your kindness, your dedication to learning, and I wish you the best of luck next year. Thanks, Jeremiah. Daniela, you made it! Um, I remember our texts, I remember our communication in COVID. You worked so hard once it happened and you really showed great growth um, these four years and I'm so excited to see you graduate. Um, congratulations and good luck. Hey Curtis, I can't believe you're a senior and that you're finally graduating. Congratulations. I am just gonna miss you so much. I'm gonna miss your smile, the way you would talk about playing video games, the way that you would be so energized about history that you were learning in Mr. Madsen's class. Uh, good luck with whatever is next. Andrew Mata, what's going on? Dude, uh, it's been a long time since our first day of skateboarding club, our three-person club that we managed to keep going for an entire year. 
Uh, but I just want to say, man, super excited to see where you're at um, and that you are accomplishing so much and going so far. Super happy to see you graduate. Super happy to see you move on to the next stage of your life. And let's see those kip whoops get a little bit better, all right? Jerome. Um, Jerome is just like an incredibly kind and caring person to everyone around him. He also just cares deeply about doing his best um, and has just advocated for himself so strongly this year. He is going to make minds in a better place next year as I know he seeks to make everywhere around him a better place. Congrats, Jerome. Jessica, congratulations. I am so excited for your future. It has just been a, a real privilege for me and all the GVR community to get to know you as a human being. Uh, your, your strong voice and the way that you choose to use that is gonna make a huge impact on the world. Keep using it, keep being you. I'm excited to see all that you accomplish. Corelli, Miss McKnight is so proud of you. You hung in there, you held tight, you worked hard, and we are celebrating graduation. I know that all things are possible, whatever you wanna do in life. Know that you're special, know that you're important, and we're proud of you. Congratulations. Gabe Villanueva, I've just been so impressed by how reflective and how considerate you are. You really take the time to think through who you are and how you fit into the world, and you're thoughtful about the impact that you want to have on the world. Um, as you make this transition into college and beyond, I hope you never lose sight of those strengths and continue to use them to make an impact on those around you. Thanks for being a part of our Raptor community. Valeria, I am so proud of you. I am so impressed by you. And I know that there will be posters in classrooms around the world that talk about you and all of your amazing accomplishments. Hi, Keegan. I just want to say what a wonder you were to have in class this last year. I've so enjoyed getting to know you and you've met every challenge, every task with intelligence, with maturity, with grace. Plus, you are a superb writer. So thank you, and I wish you the best of luck next year. Hi, Amarachi. Congratulations on your graduation. I want to share with you the note that your mom wrote for you uh, during freshman orientation back to school night. Um, and the last line is, my dream for Amarachi is to be the finest, bravest, and strongest young woman that she is growing up to be. I think you have made your mom and all of your teachers and peers incredibly proud. You are a strong, brave, fine young woman, and I am so glad that I was here to be part of your journey for the four years. Congratulations. Camille, I couldn't quite figure out what to say in your video because I feel like I have so many positive memories from you this year. You take care of your peers in class. You always fill class with joy. You care deeply about making an impact on the world around you. Um, and I just loved learning with you this year and think that you're going to be fantastic. Congratulations. Hey everybody, this is Mr. Kelly and I want to shout out Gabe Guadis. Uh, this person was in my history class. We got to know each other a lot through Cartooning Club. Um, and I just want to say, Gabe, super proud of your accomplishments. You've done so much, come so far in the last couple of years and you deserve this. Congrats, Gabe. Nate Velez, I feel like I've known you since like middle school when you used to crash your uh, older brother's after school tutoring sessions. Um, and it's been amazing to see you kind of grow from there into the amazing individual you are now. Um, you've accomplished so much as a student and as a community member, but I'd be lying if I didn't say the one thing I'll remember most about you is the time you Googled how much can Shrek lift. Best of luck. You got the word. What's the word? We, we got, got the, the word. word. Derek, we are proud of you. We love you so much. You've worked so hard. Can't wait to see you on your next journey. We will be with you. No matter what, no matter where it leads you, we're there. No cap. <laughs> the next speaker is a teacher and motivator who has always shown me her support of class of 2021. This teacher comes to school every day with one of the brightest smiles, even through Zoom classes, even if you didn't have her as a teacher, we welcome Ms. Perry. Nuestra siguiente oradora es una maestra y mentora que siempre ha demostrado su apoyo para la clase de 2021. Esta maestra viene a la escuela todos los días con una sonrisa más brillante que has visto, incluso en las, en las clases de Zoom. Siempre ha sido una maestra de nuestras favoritas por razones que no se puede explicar, aunque no la hayas tenido de maestra. Ahora es mi placer introducir a la señora Perry. Class of 2021, I am so incredibly honored to be speaking to you all tonight. And what will hopefully go down as the strangest year of my teaching career, I feel eternally grateful that I had a group as wonderful as you to tackle it all with. 
Over the past four years, I've had the pleasure of watching so many of you evolve into the most wonderful humans. While I had my reservations about you when you were sophomores, because let's face it, no one is their best in 10th grade, the joy that my super special sophomores brought me on my 50th birthday had me believing that just maybe the class of 2021 was something extra special. And that was right. I mean, look at you now. Victor runs a nonprofit. Gabby worked the election polls. Debbie's a social justice advocate. Amarachi's a track star. So many of you are managing part-time jobs and school simultaneously, the list goes on and on. You are each so impressive in so many different ways. But beyond your collective accolades, what I remember most are the hidden moments from our last few years together. The memories that at the time probably didn't feel super special, but the kind of things we'll be able to look back on and always laugh at together. Moments like Mr. Kelly's history class, where debates would get so heated that Jose called anyone who dared disagree with him pathetic and delusional. Or all the laughs shared during those class-wide bets on what time Jocelyn Biserto would stroll into first period. Perhaps even the day that Miss Anglin beat Kennedy in a race that Kennedy swore for months she wouldn't lose. Or Christian Alvarez turning Poetry Cafe into his own personal rap stage. I'll remember the ordinary moments the way that you all would pack my room for SAT Fridays and then fight over who got to present each problem, or even just the real sense of camaraderie that emerges each time you talk about the insanity that was your middle school experience. Even in a year where the pandemic kept so many of us from being our best selves, I found real moments of joy with so many of you who fought to keep personal connections alive. Whether it was Christine dropping memes in our advisory chat, Barrington finding me to talk about basketball, Gael DJing at the beginning of fifth hour, the buzz of excitement that flowed through the school and the days following the announcement that prom was in fact still happening, I felt my happiest this year in moments with you all. The past two years have been far from normal. Not only have you been completing high school in a global health pandemic, throughout what feels like a racial reckoning, our country has felt more divided than ever on issues that directly attack so many of the identities in our school community. And while some of the adults in my own life leave me wanting more from humanity, when I talk to you all, I am truly inspired that this world will someday be in your hands. When I read your reflections from Ms. Stern's class or look at the very real problems you are trying to solve through your senior projects, I am inspired not just by your advocacy, but your willingness to not accept this world the way that it currently is. I am inspired by the hard conversations you are willing to have with friends and family and neighbors and teachers. I am inspired that in a time when it feels so easy to give up, you, class of 2021, do not. You are resilient, strong, intelligent young people who embody our core value of respect for all people and will truly change minds and hearts, and in turn, the world. People don't often compliment me for my optimism, but in a season of our lives where it feels natural to reflect and be nostalgic, I ask that you join me in saving this moment to reframe some of our thinking on your senior year. When you look back, I hope you don't remember being locked at home for most of this year, but instead remember that you are capable of learning and achieving anywhere. When you look back, I hope you don't remember rolling out of bed just in time to join your morning check call, but instead remember that even when it was so tempting to not show up, you still did. When you look back, I hope you remember not the pain of doing Delta math for four hours straight, but the grit and persistence you know it takes to learn hard things. You can do hard things. But mostly Raptors, when you look back, I hope you remember the strength you developed while tackling impossible obstacles, the people who loved and supported you in a time where we all needed to feel that sense of community, and that education is truly the only solution for ignorance. Stay strong, stay connected, and never stop learning. Congratulations, class of 2021. I am so proud of you all and so honored to know you. Becca, the way you think about science and how it impacts people and how reflective you are about your own learning has been so amazing. I've loved every second of having you in Biochem and Biotech and seeing you learn and grow this year. And I am so excited for you. Congratulations. I cannot wait to see what is next for you. Hey everyone. I want to shout out Alberto. Barona Tovar right now. Uh, this person was in my advisory, also in my 11th grade U.S. history class. 
And I just want to be honest, this person showed up every single day, asked me how my day was going, um, asked me what, what things were happening. We you know, got to chat every morning. And I just want to say, Alberto, I'm so proud of you for your accomplishments over the last couple of years. Um, you are such an amazing student, such an amazing person. Um, and I just want you to feel super proud about this accomplishment. Go Alberto. As I wrote in Leah's um, letter of rec, when I think of Leah, I think of her sense of advocacy and her sense of courage. Leah um, is always willing to stand up for what she believes in, and I know that's going to take you amazing places in the future. Congratulations, Leah. Excited to see you next. Linda, I miss you this year. It was such a pleasure to teach you for those two years in AP Bio and Chemistry. You just showed an amazing scientific mind, and I'm so excited to see what you do next. Congratulations on your graduation. Juan, when I think about when I first met you, my first impression, um, or the first thing I remember um, about you is your hair, right? It's such a, like, it's such a feature on you um, that just stands out. Um, and I'm almost positive you're gonna take that hair and bring it out into the world show people what you're made of. But more importantly, Juan, you are an incredible young man who's going to achieve great things and you have such amazing goals in life and I can't wait to hear about everything that you do. Congratulations. Morelli, congratulations on your graduation. I'm so proud of you and everything that you've accomplished over the past four years. I miss our chats and advisory so much. You would tell me all about your life and going out and your amazing business, selling cool earrings, and I miss those moments so much. I wish you the best of luck in everything that you do after this year. And again, congratulations. Ramin, so proud of you, man, for what you've accomplished in the classroom and also on the basketball court these past four years. You set the bar high for your peers and for fellow student athletes to follow. And I know your coaches and your teachers are really proud of your accomplishments. You've got a great future ahead of you. Keep pulling your head up high, keep working hard, and great things will come. Congratulations, Kayla. I am so proud of you for making it to graduation. Um, I have so many great memories in AMP of all of your hard work, and you always found a way to make me laugh. Um, I so appreciate you, and I'm excited to see what you do next. Congrats again. Manuel, you're just the best. You work so hard at school um, and at your job, and you're always just so kind and humble about everything. Whatever school you end up going to is so lucky to have you, and I feel lucky to have gotten to work with you not once, but twice. When I asked for the first volunteer in your class, Tim, I started to get pretty nervous as what felt like minutes passed before anyone volunteered, even though it was only seconds. But after a couple seconds, someone finally stepped up to the plate, and that was you, Tim, and I was super impressed uh, because you went above and beyond when no one else would. And I hope you continue to keep up that trend in the future. And I look forward to hearing about all of your accomplishments in the future. Best of luck. Jenna Laird, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. I have no doubt you're going to go out, save all the animals, and become an incredible vet. Listen, things might not always be perfect, but you're going to be great. And I'm not kidding. We love you. Congratulations. <laughs> Sharif, it is so difficult for me to imagine GVR High School without you. From your leadership in robotics, to your amazing problem solving and critical thinking skills, to your great sense of humor, I am just so excited to see all of the amazing things that you contribute to this crazy world. Hi, Vene. I just want to tell you how glad I am to have gotten to know you both last year and this year. Uh, whether it was in Creative Writing Club, or in English class, or as your advisor, you bring such energy and creativity, honesty, and intelligence to every space that you are in. And I want to wish you the best of luck next year. Hi, Christian. Miss Ramos here. Congratulations. Um, you made it. I am so incredibly proud of the growth that you have made. When I think about you as a sophomore, what comes to mind is soccer and hard work and just an insane amount of humility and you should be incredibly proud. Congratulations again. Orion, spending time with you this year, just talking and communicating and learning each other, it's been amazing. Thank you for letting me be your college counselor. Thank you for letting me be your advisor. And most importantly, thank you for great conversation. I know you're gonna go far. I know you're gonna do great things and I'm so proud of you. Good luck. 
Brendan, I appreciate who you are as a human so much. Thank you for always being your authentic self. Please continue to forge your own unique path in the world. And thank you so much for getting all of my nerdy references all the time. It means the world. Ashley, first off, congratulations on completing your senior year. It has been such a great year getting to know you. You are so hardworking. You're so amazing and you're going so many places. So congratulations, never give up and show the world your amazing, nice self because you are one of the most genuinely nice people I have ever met. Congrats. Congratulations, Jaden. You have totally earned this. I'm so excited to see you graduate um, today. You have been working hard all these four years and it's about to pay off. Um, congratulations and I hope to hear about what you do next. Laxmi, congratulations. I am so excited to see you crossing the finish line. It's been fun to see it come full circle from ninth grade math to 12th grade eship. I just appreciate you so much and the passion that you bring to everything that you do. I'm really excited to see how you use that passion to change the world, to make an impact, to make a difference in the lives of those around you. Good luck. Hi, Yanine. Congratulations. It feels like just yesterday I saw you in Freshman Humanities. You've worked so hard on and off the soccer field, in our classes, in all of your classes, and even outside of school. This is a truly great event. Make sure to cherish it all. Congratulations. Carolina, you did it. What did you say? I don't know. Today, you do know and you made the choice to succeed, to be committed, and now you are a senior. I know you'll continue to put forth that effort. I'm gonna miss our coffee times, our shopping times, most of all our times in the office where I can see that strip here today that says, I don't know. So I'm proud of you, Carolina. Can't wait to be a part of your next journey. Congratulations, and we'll see you soon. Brian H. It has been a crazy, weird, fun two years. You were probably the person who made me laugh the most in my two years so far at GBR High School, so thank you for that. I really appreciate you, and I will always, always believe in you. Kendall, congratulations. You worked so hard this year. You did exactly what you're supposed to do, and it's college time. Remember to smile, remember to be happy, and remember that you are special. See you later. Carlina, I'm so excited that you're graduating. I'm uh, just thinking back to all the mornings in the A&P room in 11th grade. Um, just always appreciate your honesty um, and all of your hard work that you've put in to get here. Um, hasn't always been easy, but you've always persevered, and I'm just so incredibly proud of you. Dan, I'm seriously going to miss you. I have so many memories of lunchtime in Mr. G's office last year, as well as your engineering group this year, which was kind of the best. Please keep being yourself in the world. You're awesome. Hey, y'all. Just want to take a minute to shout out Anna Williams. Anna came into my U.S. history class and she quickly made herself known as one of the smartest, most intelligent, and bright students I've ever had. Um, she asked questions every single day, her writing was impeccable, and I was so proud to get to write her letter of rec as she uh, decided on her next steps. So Anna, congratulations, so proud of you, so proud of what you're going to accomplish in the future, and best of luck to you, congrats. Olga, congratulations, you made it. Uh, you were one of the most amazing a &P students I've ever taught. Even when you didn't wanna do the writing, that's okay, you did it anyway. You pushed through all of the challenges that came your way and you made it here. Congratulations, I'm so proud of you. Hi, Helena, Miss Ramos here. Uh, I wish I was as cool as you when I was in high school. You are so wonderful. You are so creative and full of life. And I cannot wait to see what you accomplish in this world. Um, you're unstoppable. Don't forget it. Jocelyn R. You are a person that makes me happy, plain and simple. Team Juniors last year in engineering was so much fun. This year, I have been so lucky to be your advisor. I am cheering for you always. And Thomas, how are you so good at being an adult and you're not even one yet? You can run fundraisers, you can teach lessons like you've been teaching for years, you can lead lectures like you're a professor, you can plan large events, you're so good at life. 
Um, so in the future, I'm so excited for what you're gonna do because you're gonna do really big things. Gael, uh, I like honestly don't know how I would have made it through virtual learning for the last year and some change um, without your joy, whether it is your mildly inappropriate lip sync battle, um, bump and fallout boy for our class, or just like whatever the weird thing is of the day. So appreciate the joy you bring and so excited for all of the great things you have to come. In all our four years, teachers have made sure to acknowledge our hard work the SST teachers are the best educators you will ever meet due to their support, work ethic, and the way they show they truly care. We now welcome Ms. Goodrich, Ms. Mile, Gray, and Ms. Ramos to present the high honors of graduation awards for a core value, flower person, community leadership, and DSST scholars. In todos los cuatro años, nuestros maestros siempre se han asegurado de reconocer nuestros esfuerzos. Los maestros de DSST son los mejores educadores a los cuales puedes reconocer gracias a su habilidad de apoyarnos, enseñar y en la forma que demuestran que les importamos. Ahora quiero bienvenir a la señora Goodrich, Mayo, Gray y la señora Ramos para presentar los honores altos de los premios de esta graduación, de los valores centrales, visión, liderazgo de la comunidad y estudiantes excepcionales. Good evening, all. This, of course, is an event to celebrate the accomplishments of all of our graduating seniors. They've each gone above and beyond in so many unique ways, and collectively, their accomplishments are truly extraordinary. We will recognize several of these seniors for their distinguished efforts through presentation of the core value, flower person, community leadership, and DSST Scholars Awards. Without further ado, I will now present the Core Value Award. At DSST, we pride ourselves not only on outstanding academic achievement, but also upon the core values that provide the foundation upon which all of our community's actions are based. This award is given to the senior who has best lived and exemplified DSST's six core values, respect, responsibility, doing your best, integrity, curiosity, and courage in their daily life. This award was determined by a vote of the entire senior class. I am honored to present the 2021 Core Value Award to Gabby Alamillo Sanchez. Congrats, Gabby. A flower person is someone who spreads joy. A flower person is positive in, it, in their interactions with their peers and staff. And the impact of being around that person is that everyone around you feels valued and included. Through their consistently kind actions and positive attitude, a flower person makes our whole community more welcoming and brave. This award is given to the senior who best embodies the spirit and qualities of a flower person. This student has been representative of the holistic intent of the flower person in their life and in their work at DSST. This award was determined by a vote from the whole staff. I am pleased to present the 2021 Flower Person Award to Valeria Lizarraga. Congratulations. This award is given to the senior who through their leadership has made the most significant contribution to DSST, the surrounding community, and the student life of the school. This student demonstrates the courage to make difficult decisions for the benefit of others in the DSST community. This award was determined by a vote of the staff. I am pleased to present the 2021 E.V. Dennis Community Leadership Award for her hard work and dedication to service across her years at DSST GBR to Devian Fugit. Hi, class of 2021. I have the incredible honor this year of presenting the DSST Scholars Award. The DSST Scholars Awards are the most significant academic honors given at DSST. These awards are given to five graduates each year who have both demonstrated academic excellence through the highest academic performance over the last four years and who have consistently demonstrated a love of learning through living the core value of curiosity in their daily learning. These awards were determined by student GPAs. I am pleased to present the DSST Scholars Awards to the following students. Eduardo Garcia, Gabby Alamillo, Keegan Cohen, Kayla Wen, and Alfonso Bonilla. Congratulations, folks. Job well done, and it was well earned. Congratulations.
Brianna, Miss McKnight is so proud of you. I give you a hard time, but I remember that little girl I met junior year and you have grown so, so, so very much. I know you're gonna be a great doctor. I know you're gonna do great things in this world and I'm just happy I got to know you in your lifetime. Thank you for every conversation, every laugh. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Danica, I'm always so glad when you enter a room. Your presence is one of kindness, humbleness, and fortitude that you lift up everyone around you. And I'm so grateful for your presence. Um, you're gonna do such great things in college and then after that, and I feel very lucky to have been able to work with you. Jose, I don't think I'll ever forget um, just how powerful and how creative your college essay was. I hope you continue to find your voice both in your writing and in your pursuit of psychology as you try to make a difference for, for those around you. Uh, be confident in who you are and continue to do your best to explore all your wide ranges of interests. Best of luck. Jocelyn B, I am so glad that I was with you for four years of student school board from the ninth grader who came in gossiping about her crushes in the corner to the leader that you have become. I am so, so proud of you. And it has been amazing to see you show up with funk, spirit, and energy into all the spaces where you lead. Congratulations on a well-deserved graduation. Hi, Mars. I want to tell you how much I've enjoyed getting to know you this last year. Thank you for your willingness to not only share your thoughts in class, but also your love for your peers and your kindness. Um, so great job this year, and best of luck next year. You will do great things. Congratulations, Salem, on your graduation, and best wishes to your next adventure. You are going to do such amazing things in this world, and I'm so excited for you. It was an honor teaching you, and I know your future professors are going to feel the same way. Keep it up. Rock on. You got this. See you soon. Christian Alvarez. When I first think of you, I always think about your performances in the front of our school. But as I've gotten to know you so much better throughout senior year, um, I also just gotten to know your heart and your sense of humor. Um, and I feel so lucky to have taught you in civics. And I'm just looking forward to hearing about what you do next. Congratulations, Christian. Carrie, you spent so much time in my room last year pre COVID and it was really great getting to know you um, and just really enjoyed all the things you brought to AP Bio. I'm excited to see you graduate. I hope you have an amazing time in college and congratulations. Hannah, it's your sister, your friend, and I'm excited to just speak on your behalf today. I want you to know that I am grateful for who you are, for your perseverance, for your integrity. You have fought the good fight and you have won the battle. I look forward to your next year as you go to DU. I am ready for that journey that I hope to travel with you. So thankful for who you are and can't wait till you graduate and you did it. Woo -woo. Kayla, congratulations, you made it. Um, thank you for choosing my class for two years in a row, solely so you could talk about drugs. Um, I love the passion, I love the dedication to following your what you really want to learn about. Um, keep it up. Have a great time in college. So proud of you. Vanessa, um, I don't know if you remember, but back in 10th grade, I kind of became your advisor, like in the middle of the year. Um, maybe I wasn't so happy about <laughs> jumping in there so last minute, but I am so glad to have gotten that chance to meet you back then and to have seen you grow so much um, really since then. You're going to accomplish some amazing things um, in the future. And so continue to be confident in yourself and in what you believe. Best of luck. VNA, congratulations. I can't believe you're finally graduating. This is an amazing moment. I am so proud of the person that you are, and I want you to know that you can trust that. And whatever steps are next for you, that you can trust your heart, you can listen to it, and that you can accomplish the deepest dreams that are placed within you. Good luck. Aaron, it's almost time for you to move to New York and start that dream of becoming a chef. Um, a, I hope I get to try your amazing food because I know it's going to be spectacular. And B, it has been such a pleasure getting to know you this year. And I know that you are going to be super successful in everything that you do. Once you open up that restaurant, I'm going to be the first one in line to come try that food. Congrats, Aaron. 
Ami, last year you were the first person I saw basically every morning and I cannot think of a better way to start my day at school. Thank you for always making me smile and making me laugh and I know that you will continue to bring happiness and beautiful moments to everyone around you. Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Kelly and I want to take a minute to shout out Bryant Ta. I first met Bryant way back when we had electives. You guys remember that? Oh my God. Um, in my ultimate Frisbee elective, uh, this person came. They also came to the after school club and really pushed themselves on the field, but also in the classroom. Um, really got to know Brian in history class and really benefited from all of his questions, his thinking and uh, the great work he did there. So Bryant, I am so proud of you, so proud of what you've accomplished and I'm really excited to see what you're gonna do in the future. Congratulations. Irene, congratulations on your well-deserved successes. This is just the start for you. You're going to do so amazing in the world. I know it, and I'm always here if you need anything. Missing you already. I'm just so excited for you, and I hope that you do come back and visit. Always, always love hearing those stories. Stay well, be well. You got this, girl. This one is for Jackie Trujillo. Uh, Girl, you are limitless. You already know it and you don't need me to tell you it, but I just cannot express how incredibly proud I am of you and of and excited for the future that you have ahead of you. Never stop reaching for the stars. Congratulations. If we had an award that was given not only to students that achieved academic excellence, but also worked a full 40 hour work week, then Oscar, you would win this award. Your ability and your responsibility inside and outside the classroom was truly impressive, especially in tries two and three, when you really came into the swing of things and were getting all your work done, and not only that, but quality work. I wish you the best of luck in future. Justice, congratulations on graduation. From that super spirited freshman you came into high school as to the mature, beautiful young man that you are graduating, you have just made an awesome time of your journey at GBR, and I'm so grateful that I was able to be a part of it. Congratulations on making it to your dream school. Enjoy. Katie, so when you become the first female president, um, can you just remember the little people here at GBR? I mean, mainly just me. Like, all I need is like a little room in the White House, um, and that's it. So just make it happen, Captain. I see you set out and achieved everything that you said you were going to achieve. And for that, I'm so incredibly proud of you. Keep on keeping on. Proud of you, felicidades. Naomi, congratulations, you made it to graduation. I feel so lucky to know you. You are an incredible person um, with so many different talents, such strong opinions, um, and, and just like such an amazing person all around. I'm so excited to see what you pursue and do in the future. Congratulations again. Barrington, congratulations on your graduation. You accomplished some amazing things over the past four years. You worked so hard in Spanish class last year, even though it didn't come easy to you. And I so appreciated all the hard work and of course the moments of humor that you brought to class as well. Best of luck in everything that you do after this year. And again, congratulations. Roberto, congratulations on graduating. Uh, you put in a ton of hard work and we will miss you here at GVR, but want to wish you the best of luck on all of your future endeavors. Phoebe, congratulations. I am so proud of the person that you are. You care deeply about so many important things in the world. I am excited to see you continue to learn how to trust yourself even more because that is how you're gonna make a strong impact in the world. I'm so proud of you, good luck. Hey Jeffrey, um, congratulations on graduating. It has been such a joy to have you in Psych this year. You bring such awesome ideas um, and you challenge everyone's thinking and I'm so excited to see um, what you do after high school and all the great things you do moving forward. Congratulations. Armando, super proud of your accomplishments both in the classroom and on the pitch. You definitely represent what a student athlete at GBR is all about. Look forward to watching you play either collegiate or professional. I know you got amazing things ahead of you. Keep working hard, hold your head high, and I'm super proud of you. Phantom, I have been so lucky that I've gotten to spend the last two years getting to know you so well. From transmedia to art to She Kills Monsters to the virtual one acts, 
It has just been such a joy to get to see you grow and blossom as a person and really, really, really see the amazing person that you're going to continue to be. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations and good luck on all the things coming up for you. Timothy Jones, it's time to graduate. Miss McKnight is very proud of you. Thank you for being an awesome student. Thank you for putting in your hard work and thank you for just bringing the laughs. I look forward to hearing your adventures. Good luck and we're proud of you. Eduardo, congratulations. Um, I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of you. And I can't wait to see what is next for you. Good job. Good luck. You did it. Congratulations, Kennedy. I am so excited for you. Having you in biochem and biotech has been such a blast and I loved seeing you learn and grow and explore science this year. Um, I cannot wait to see what is next for you and I am just so excited. Congratulations, you deserve this. You've worked so hard. Luis, you are the most caring and thoughtful human. I am constantly in awe of your kindness and your deep love and respect for your family. I know that you have made them so, so proud. Thank you, thank you for trusting me with hard decisions even when you didn't always believe me. And I hope that the last two years have taught you to always bet on yourself because you are amazing and you can do anything. I can't wait to see what you accomplish. This student has been a role model student for as long as we've known her. She is one of the brightest students in class, always involved in the school community, and help the world become a better place. She embodies all core values, which is why she was voted the Core Value Award winner of class of 2021. We would like to introduce Gabby Alamillo. Esta estudiante ha sido una estudiante ejemplar desde el comienzo, a lo largo que la hemos conocido. Es una de las más brillantes, brillantes en clase y siempre está involucrada con su alrededor para hacer el mundo mejor. Ella fue votada por estos valores para ser la ganadora de los valores de la clase de 2021. Y ahora es mi placer introducir a Gaby a la mío. It's been a super exhausting year, and I think I can speak for the majority of us and say that we couldn't wait for this day ever since we started high school, but also feel robbed of what could have been our senior year. Every time I walk by a classroom where I used to have class last year, I feel tempted to walk back in and resume what was supposed to happen. It feels like I have some unfinished business in there. And although it was all a year ago, it feels like it was about three years ago. Do you guys remember the last thing we were told before we left? Kelly had to cut off a big chunk of the last unit to practice for the AP exam. Cochran gave us loads of packets to practice SAT and some of us didn't even end up taking it. Gray gave some practice sheets and we all thought it would all be over in three weeks, not an entire year and counting. Unlike other seniors, our year has been even more difficult and our freshman, sophomore, and junior memories feel far more distant. There has been so much growth from all of us, both physically and mentally. Not only did we have to do with the stressful duties of being a senior, we also got an entire pandemic and civil unrest on top of that. Our black peers getting even more tired of police brutality, rightfully so as it's been an ongoing problem in our country for decades. Our Asian peers fighting racism and xenophobia along with the virus due to the harmful rhetoric of where the virus came from. Immigrants in detention centers facing the ongoing problem of unsanitary, unsanitary conditions, putting them at higher risk of getting sick. Our peers, our community, and our country had to face this discrimination on top of a global pandemic, financial crash, a high stake election, terror storming the Capitol and hate crimes and shootings continuing. I'm tired of being part of a historical event every few days. And here we are. We can say we are fortunate enough to have made it through the pandemic and abundance of human rights violations. Seeing what we've seen, knowing what we know, and experiencing what we've experienced empowers us and fuels our passion and drive for contributing to change that is meant to improve our communities and make them stronger and safer in the future. We also need to recognize that we worked hard this year, no matter what your grades looked like or how motivated you felt. We all came out here and completed our final year of high school. It's been an extremely hard year, but I hope we can end it by celebrating each other's hard work and reminiscing on past high school and middle school memories. Whether that is when we went to the Rockies game in middle school and had to wait for a group of students that got lost, which I was a 
part of. Or when some students almost got us banned from DU for using the emergency phone when you weren't supposed to. Most of us have known each other for years and we don't realize how much we've all grown until we look at old pictures and videos of us in middle school. We look like little babies if you look at the middle school pics. Whether you're going to college or whether you're going to work somewhere or starting technical school, I know each of us are going to do amazing things in the future and I hope that we can find our strengths and passions but also live un día a la vez, which means one day at a time. High school graduation is about what we've accomplished, what we are accomplishing, and what we will accomplish as we go out into the world. Go class of 2021. Kaylee, congratulations. It has been so exciting getting to know you over these last couple of years. You are such an intelligent student, an amazing artist, a great writer, and you have nothing but amazing things ahead of you. So again, congratulations. On behalf of all of us here, we are so proud of you, and I know you're gonna do amazing. This is for Brianna. You brought such joy to chemistry and biology, and I really enjoy teaching you, and I'm so excited to see you graduate. Congratulations, and I look forward to hearing what's next in your next adventure. All right, here's my attempt at a metaphor in 30 seconds. You've run many miles here at DSST, more than any previous graduate T. This effort and dedication will take you far, just like the countless hours of cross country at GVR. Congrats on graduating, Blake. You're going to do great things in the future, and I wish you the best of luck out there. Alfonso, in our first week together, you told me you would never like me, and boy do I hope you've changed your mind because I adore you. Even though you spent most of our days together making up nonsense rumors about me, you also spent those days showing deep care for the learning of your peers in ways I have never seen before. You live out the core value of respect. I will always be so grateful for your impact on the math community at GVR and hope you know that no matter what obstacles you have to fight, I will have your back. Always rooting for you. It is no secret that Yaddle is incredibly brilliant and driven. But throughout the course of civics, I just watched her truly find her voice and be able to express her opinions to her peers um, and stand up for herself and advocate for others, um, which was also ended up in a phenomenal senior project. You have so much to be proud of, Yaddle. Congratulations. Hey, Madi, congratulations on your graduation. You should be so proud of everything you accomplished over the past four years. You may have said, I don't care a lot in my class last year, but I think all of the hard work that you put in proves that you absolutely do, and you deserve all of those college acceptances. Best of luck in everything you do after this year, and again, congratulations. Pedro, so excited. I feel like I have enjoyed you in class every minute of every day. I enjoy that you take forever to pack up so we really get to know each other and I just look forward to seeing you graduate and your next steps and congratulations on your graduation. Hey everybody, I'm Mr. Kelly and I'm here to shout out Eris Densmore. Uh, this student was the consummate U.S. history student, always asking questions, always pushing the classes thinking and really earned um, her success in that class and super excited to see all the things you've accomplished ever since and to see you be successful in your senior year. Congratulations, Eris. You deserve everything you got, and I'm super excited to see where you go in the future. Biddix, congratulations on graduating. You've worked your butt off and have shown others what it means to persevere. You have a bright future ahead of you, and with your work ethic, charisma, and colorful shoes, amazing things will happen. Hold your head high. Super proud of you, man. Go get them. Hey, Julissa, I can't even really remember when we first met because you've just always been such a visible and engaged member of our community, um, volunteering at so many different events and getting engaged in every single way possible. Um, you've always been super proactive in reaching out for opportunities as you've kind of figured out what you want to do for college and career. And I know that that skill is going to take you far. So continue with all that and continue to do your best. Liz Vett, I am so glad that I had you along with me for the last three years on the double accelerated math track to keep me sane mostly, but also to outvote the boys on any and all decisions. I am so, so proud of the person you have become and proud of the confidence I have watched you gain along the way. I hope that you always, always, always remember to believe in yourself and your own ability. 
You are a math goddess, Lizbeth. Don't you ever forget it. Giselle, I have no doubt in my mind that you're going to do some amazing things. You are such an incredible light in this world. And um, there is no doubt in my mind that everywhere you go, anywhere you go, you're going to bring that light with you and you're going to have a positive impact on those around you. Um, I am so incredibly proud of you, Giselle, and I can't wait to hear about everything that you do. Congratulations. Bernie, Miss McKnight is so proud of you. You set this year off on fire and baby, we made it. I know you're smiling. I know you're happy. And I just want to say congratulations. All your work, hard work paid off. I'm proud of you, buddy. Hey, Naomi, congratulations on your graduation. You should be so proud of all the hard work that you put in over the past four years. I'm so lucky that I got to teach you this year in Spanish 3. You've been such a kind and dedicated student. You've even gone above and beyond and checked in on me to make sure I'm doing well, which I appreciate so much. Best of luck to you and everything you do after this year. And again, congratulations. Christina, congratulations. I'm so excited for you. Um, I have so many wonderful memories of you in a &P. You were always working so hard um, and just such a great leader um, with amazing thoughts and ideas and always just willing to put in the work to see, um, see what, the results that you want. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, Victor. So happy to share in the excitement of your graduation day and adventures too. You are going to do amazing things in this world and it feels like just yesterday you were discovering your love of reading. I still remember the, the tequila worm novel and your just excitement in it. I hope that you take that excitement and put it into the world and help guide us into a better future. You got this. Well, it's been so fun having you in class these past two years. I appreciate you for your kindness, for your sense of humor and laughing at my terrible jokes, and for having the best handwriting of any AP Physics student ever. You are awesome. You know, it's been great getting to know you the past year uh, in cross country, as well as this year teaching you in pre -cow. It's really inspiring watching when you are dedicated and inspired by something um, and they time and energy you put into it. So I look forward to seeing like what sort of goals you put your time and energy to after high school. Stay in touch. Good luck out there. Hi Karina. I want to thank you for your authenticity this past year, for your willingness to always bring a unique perspective to class, your thoughtfulness which deepens not only your peers thinking but mine as well. So thank you for being your wonderful self and best of luck next year. Lauren Williams. Congratulations. I am so incredibly sad that I won't get to have my cinnamon tea with you anymore, but I'm so incredibly proud of you. I'm gonna miss your quiet confidence, your incredibly good ideas, and just your kindness in general. Congratulations. Jennifer, congratulations. I am going to miss you. I'm gonna miss your quiet strength that you bring and hold in everything that you do. Um, I'm super excited to see all that you accomplish at the next level. Um, good luck studying biology. Natalie, it has been such a joy getting to know you after, over these last couple of years. You are a spectacular, smart, driven person who's going to go so far in life. Never give up on your dreams. Never forget who you are, how special you are, and how whole you are. You are going to be so successful. Keep pushing forward and congratulations. Lavinia, Lavi Ah, oh, you are here in the building. I am so proud of you, you made it. All the hard work, all the crazy conversations, all of it paid off and we are here at graduation. Ms. McKnight is proud of you. I know you're gonna do great things and I'm here whenever you need me. Congratulations. Edward, when I think back on this school year, I will never forget all those Teams calls we had the night before basically every single college application deadline. You have become the king of the last minute essay, and although you may want to work on that procrastination, um, I hope you do know you have every single other skill needed to be successful. So be confident in yourself no matter what obstacles might lie ahead because you have what it takes. Best of luck. I hate to break it to you, but you can't graduate. And here's why. It's because you promised that you were going to leave bosses forever and ever. And if you leave, then who's going to leave bosses? Um, and you promised. So now you can't leave. And if you leave, we're going to have to fight. And if we fight, you know, I'm going to win. And if I win, it's not going to be a good look for you. So we're just going to 
leave you leading all the groups, right? But just in case you did lie to me and you do hide from me, I want you to know that um, I'm proud of you and that you are going to do some amazing things and I can't wait to hear about it. Congratulations. Parak, you have turned out to be the most wonderful person. I can't think of anyone who has shown more character growth throughout their time at DSST than you. You are kind and thoughtful and mature and responsible. And while I may never forgive you for not telling me about GameStop stock, I will always, always remember the many ways you have made my life better. Thank you for being a light for me. I will always be rooting for you. Amina, you started this year off saying, I want to go to school in Paris. And you were accepted to the University of Paris. That was one of the most extraordinary things I've ever seen in my life. I'm so proud of you for your determination, your grit, and your hard work. Good luck um, next year, good luck in college, and good luck in life. Have a great one. Cyrus, I will always remember you as the person who single-handedly won basically every engineering competition with your amazing brain. Please continue to create and continue to be yourself. The world needs you. Rachel, um. Two years ago, I knew when we met that you were um, gonna be that student, that student that um, just kept me on my toes and you've done nothing but keep me on, on, on my toes. You always stop by, let me know what the tea is. And um, I am honored that I got to meet you, honored that I got to teach you, honored that I got to work with you. And um, you're gonna do some amazing things um, and you better keep in touch and let me know. Congratulations. Zayla Harris, is there a more hardworking or more kind young woman than Zayla? I'm so fortunate to have had your smile brighten my day every day for the past two years. Your ability to bring your best self to every interaction will continue to allow you to lead a beautiful life. I wish you all the best next year, Zayla. Alejandra, I'm not sure who's going to give me all the cheese, but I'm just letting you know that you are going to stay in that role and you're going to continue to call or text me and let me know about all the cheese that's going on everywhere. Okay? Proud of you. You've overcome a lot, and that speaks a lot to your strength and your perseverance. And there is no doubt in my mind that you're going to do amazing things in life. Alejandra, keep it up. Congratulations. We wouldn't be where we are if it weren't for our amazing teachers that supported us through our high school years, or for our administration that always wanted the best for us. Thank you to our teachers and staff. We are greatly appreciated. However, we cannot forget to thank the people who are always there for us and rooting for us. Thank you to our parents and loved ones for your consistent love and support. And to the class of 2021, we made it. This isn't how any of us plan to plan for the end of our senior years to look, but we still did it. This is just the beginning of our journey. Take the paintbrush and paint your life story. Congratulations, class of 2021. We, we now pass it off to Mr. Van Teen to close us out. Estamos donde estamos ahora si no fuese por los profesores maravillosos que nos enseñaron durante nuestros años en high school o por la administración que siempre quiso lo mejor para nosotros, aunque significaba no tener off-campus lunch desde el principio. Sin embargo, no podemos olvidarnos de agradecer a las personas que siempre estuvieron ahí para nosotros y apoyándonos. Gracias a nuestros padres y seres queridos y para la clase de 2021 lo hicimos. Esto no fue lo que nos imaginábamos y solo fue a pesar para nuestro último año. Al igual, esto es solamente el comienzo de nuestras vidas. Pinten su vida como lo desean. Felicidades a la clase de 2021. Y ahora voy a voltear esto a Vancy para que nos cierre. Muchas gracias. Looks like we made it. Look how far we've come, my baby. Oh. Oh, wow. Uh, this is embarrassing. Hi. Didn't see you there. Um, that song may be a little bit premature right now, considering that graduation is several days away. But think about it. How far you truly have come. Not just in the last year as a senior, or 15 months of a pandemic, or four years of high school, or seven years at DSST for some of you, but all the way back. It is truly remarkable how far you and we have come. Let's give it up for our student MCs, Jocelyn and Jerome, and student speakers, Eduardo and Gabby. They had to deal with me more over these last few weeks than I'm sure they would have liked with recording and re-recording and re-recording again. A huge thank you to them for sharing all of their memories, appreciation, and love for the class of 2021 families and staff. 
Speaking of staff, another huge thank you to the entire GVR campus team for the unwavering support and always believing in every student in the class of 2021 and all our students in Raptor Nation. And similarly, sharing beautiful, funny, and loving memories of the class of 2021. I started at DSST when this class was in eighth grade. And while I never knew any of you then, I still remember the group of young men that would come watch the high schoolers and I play basketball on Wednesday mornings, only to have you all join the following year when you became ninth graders. I wish that we could have continued that tradition this year and hope that we get to play again before my knees really go out and I can still keep up. I remember the middle school cheer team coming in to perform at the high school and being impressed with the clear hard work that had gone into each performance then seeing some of those same individuals use their platform to truly lift every voice. I know we all missed the incredible theater performance over the last 15 months, and I still think back to In the Heights and Peter and the Starcatcher, which many of you starred in yourselves. Like Eduardo said, this class is just so much, but in a good way. To the support systems, that were there for the class of 2021 before they entered DSST GVR High School. The moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas, aunties, uncles, siblings, cousins, friends, and everybody else. Thank you for the partnership over the years, for pushing our staff team to be better on behalf of your children because that is what they truly deserve. For all the support that you will continue to provide as these graduates go off in so many incredible directions. On behalf of the entire staff at DSST Grand Valley Ranch, thank you families for giving us the honor of working with your children and alongside you over the past years. It has been a pleasure and we are better as a team because of you. Thank you for joining such a great event. As a reminder, this is just the first of this week. We look forward to seeing seniors at the Senior Breakfast on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Don't forget to RSVP if you haven't already so we can have enough food. When you get there, please head straight to Building One down to the gym. You masked up that full time. Um, and check out the message sent to seniors and families that is specifically about the Senior Breakfast for those details. Similarly, make sure that you bring your laptop and charger. Um, if you're planning to join virtually for Closing Circle, a meeting invite has been sent out. And then on Friday, we've got graduation. Remember, these are three mini ceremonies at 10, 12, and two. Each graduate has been notified of their designated time and needs to have RSVP'd for them and their four guests. Graduation will also be live streamed so that loved ones that are not able to join in person because of capacity restrictions can still celebrate simultaneously. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Have a great night, drive safely, and we look forward to seeing you later this week, whether it's in person or virtually.